Ooh, what is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now you guys know I played House of Wolves earlier. I was invited out by Bungie to Seattle to the Bungie headquarters to play House of Wolves early. While I was there, I went around the tower, I went around the reef, I checked out all the vendors, all the new vendor gear, all the new weapons, and while I was there, I took notes of all the new mods that are coming with these new weapons. Now the mods I'm gonna run through you guys today are all guaranteed in the game, but I'm not gonna say they're all that are coming. There may be a few other mods and weapons I didn't see, ones that you win. And there's also gonna be mods on singular weapons like exotics and them limited legendaries, which ain't gonna be on any other weapon. The mods we're gonna go through in this video are ones we see on everyday legendaries like the vendor legendaries, Dead Orbit, Crucible, uh, Vanguard, New Monarchy and Future Warcraft, as well as rare and uncommon weapons you may find throughout the game. But before we get into this video, if you guys could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. Let's try and reach 4,000 likes, that would be insane if we could. Okay, getting into the video, the first mod we're going to take a look at is a mod I saw on a few auto rifles and it's called Rifled Barrel. Increased range but slow as reload. Next up we have Triple Tap. Rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Next up we have is hand laid stuck, increased stability and reduced range. Next up we have hot swap, ready in this weapon grants a brief period of bonus accuracy. This is one I saw on a few types of weapons. Next up we have is small bone, increased range and stability, slow reload, reduced magazine size. Next up we have is army of one, Unassisted kills with this weapon reduce grenade and melee cooldown. Next up we have Brave Rubber. Melee kills while this weapon is equipped have a chance to refill the magazine. This is one we saw on the, on the new Crucible shotgun, which if you guys missed, I did upload a video going through all the new Crucible weapons, which I'll link in the video description. This is going to be a beast on any shotgun. Imagine now that special ammo in PvP is limited. Melee kills have a chance to refill your magazine. This is going to be a must have perk for your shotgun. It really is. Next up we have a mod called Injection Mode, increased stability, faster handling but reduced range. This is one I saw on a few heavy machine guns. Next up we have is Battle Runner, kills with this weapon, grant a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. This is one I saw on a few shotguns and a few fusion rifles. Next up we have Hidden Hand, this weapon gains better target acquisition. Now this is a mod that we saw on snipers, we saw this on hand cannons and I also saw this on a auto rifle. Now a friend of mine while we were playing the House of Wolves actually had this on one of the crucible snipers he was using and he described it like this, when aiming in it locked onto a player sort of like how a lizard's tongue locks onto a fly. Now I'm not sure how heavy the lock on is going to be but it does sound pretty OP to be honest but we're just going to have to wait and see. Next up we have is reinforced barrel, increased range, reduced stability. This is one I saw on a few shotguns. Next up we have is Icarus, improved accuracy while airborne. I saw this on one fusion rifle. Next up we have Replenish. This weapons magazine will be refilled whenever a super is cast. I saw this on a hand cannon and I saw this on a auto rifle. Next up we have is Casket Mag. Increased magazine size and reduced stability. I saw this across all weapons. The last mod I took note of was called Oiled Flame. Faster reload, reduced range. This is also one I saw on a few heavy weapons. But guys, they are all the new mods I took note of while playing the House of Wolves. There may be more coming, we're just going to have to wait and see. But some of these sound pretty badass. What I did figure out here though is, what's different between these mods and the old mods is, say if you want a better of something, you have to have a reduced of something else. Say if you want better stability, you have to give up a little bit of range for that. If you want a bigger ammo clip, you have to give up a little bit of your stability for that. Which actually makes sense in my opinion. And I like the way Bungie are dropping this, I really do. But guys, that is it for another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, I do appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace! Enemy captured zone A. You neutralized zone B.